All Eddie Brinson could do was look for what may have survived in his once proud two-story home. When I got to the house, I, I kind of lost my uh, sense of reality before I even got to the house and kind of started you know, crying. He and his wife had held out hope their home of 15 years would survive. She got out with her young grandson the morning of the fire. He was working in the Bay Area. All that is salvageable are some metal pieces of artwork amongst the ruins. There's a certain curve just past my house that I'd always see when I'd be out of town around that corner. I see there's home and I know I'm home and my family's there and, you know, it's time to enjoy life. And uh, I rounded that corner and there was nothing, so. Come on, baby. Over here. Across the street, a much different story for Tim Proctor and his dog Raleigh. Their home withstood the campfire inferno. A work car, the only thing destroyed. I'm one of the lucky ones. It's uh, still standing. Um, there's a little bit of ash in there, and um, my windows were closed, so uh, I think there's virtually no damage. You can see how close the flames came to Tim's house here. As you can see right here on the ground, black and then it raced all the way over here, right under the staircase, and then finally stopped. Just down the street off Neal Road, the flames didn't stop for the parents of Nick Johnson. He was here sifting through 27 years of mom and dad's life memories, hoping to find something intact, but most is lost forever. Um, a lot of motorcycles, some musical equipment. Uh, my dad had a spare garage that he did like you know, motorcycle building and hot rod work and stuff, so all that's gone. Johnson says his parents won't rebuild. They're moving to be closer to a son in Nevada, but Eddie Brinson is defiant. He vows to stay. And we feed the deer, we watch the turkeys, we ride the foiler around the mountainside, so we'll get through the process like everybody else, clean up and rebuild. In Paradise, Kurt Rivera, ABC 10 News.